Hi, I'm White Bread. And I'm the Mole. And this is Late Night, Night Reviews, Reviews with White Bread and, and the Mole. mole. Alright, welcome to our review of Beauty and the Beast. Now, this movie sucked and here's why. Uh, lots of gay stuff. Um, there was a guy dressed in drag. It's not okay with my beliefs and that means it's not okay with your beliefs, okay? It is not okay. <laughs> and they were singing super gay. <laughs> and... That was a joke. That, that, was, yeah, that was a yeah. joke that just happened. Um, that, okay. Yeah, we just saw Beauty and the Beast, start. and um, it was opening night, so we'll probably get this review up tomorrow, or I don't know if uh, I'll probably have to work. Okay. But uh, I'll try and get it up as soon as possible. My hair is fucked. Yeah, Anyways. excuse the dishevelment of my room and appearances. This movie was really good. Uh, I really liked it. Um, I thought... It was, uh, you know, I, I hate to compare it to, like, the original. You have to, almost. I know, but I hate to because they're, they're different, and it's like, I don't know. The cartoon will always hold a special place in my heart. But this oh, yeah. was really good for a reboot. Okay, so, pros. Uh, the gay the, stuff. The casting was perfect. I mean, Emma Watson blew it out of the water, and I knew she would. People were saying, oh, she's not the... Oh, da, da, da. She blew it out of the water. Great singing voice, great acting. She, And, I mean, her personality and character kind of just goes perfect with the character. So, I would say that she isn't quite as good of a singer as the original. That's, well, no, because... I mean, she, I mean she's, no. she's, a she's good, not a trained singer. She's yeah, she's... Not, I mean, she did very... For an actress who doesn't normally sing, she did very well. Same with most know. of the actors in this movie. Emma They're Thompson's not, in it, and that's always good. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah. Whoever played you Beast, could, I have no idea what You could tell that is, her singing was good. kind of like a league above everyone else's. But... Yeah. Um, Gaston... Luke Evans, funny. <laughs> uh, Sir Ian McClellan as Cogsworth, Ewan McGregor, even though his accent was a little hit and miss. I mean, I, 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 it was funny. It's supposed to be kind of like a fake yeah. French accent. and that's one thing I liked about this one is it was kind of self-referential. Like, they made some jokes that kind of poked fun at, you know, the fact that they were in a Disney, new, a Disney movie and cliches and things like that. Yeah, I, I feel like... That's fair. They didn't go overboard with it, but it was like it was a little funny, like eh. Um, yeah, Gaston. He was Luke Evans was great. Um, and yeah, okay. There's controversy surrounding the movie because they made LeFou, they made LeFou a gay character, but but I mean he was always gay. <laughs> Let's be, be honest. Because of all the outrage, I was like, oh, they're gonna they're gonna just force this on it. But no, it wasn't heavy handed at all. Honestly, like. I don't know. It was yeah, like it was very obviously like that is a yeah, good guy. Yeah. But I mean, you know, it was. But he was just like a sassy with flair, and I mean, it's not like he made out with somebody and like oh. oh you I was kind of I was kind of hoping that he would because he like dances with a guy at the end, yeah. and it's like I thought they were. Yeah, I, I like, think I that thought was there definitely... was something that they were hon that people were honing in on is oh this is controversial and outrageous, but no, he was just flamboyant. I, I don't know. I, I mean, it, there were certain things he did that was like, yeah, sure he was gay, but like, but, I don't know, like people need to get their panties out of a bunch. Like, who cares? It's just a character. Like, I mean, it's just whatever. You know, it's just I don't even know if we should even get into it because that's no. just it's almost feeding the there's no this point. ignorant Let's bullshit. Go past that. So, um, into cons. Uh, I'm gonna get, I guess, spoiler territory, but I mean, this is Beauty and the Beast. It's a reboot. You know what Beauty very and the Beast old, is. Yeah, it, it's not really giving anything away what we're gonna talk about. Yeah. So, um, the songs that they added, are they kinda, were pretty bad. Like, uh, yeah, as because, Kathy Bush said, you know, um, don't give out, don't give out my fucking girlfriend's name on the internet, you bastard. There's hundreds of Kathy Bush's friends. <laughs> Come on, man. Anyways. Anyway. Um, because, yeah, the, the songs they added were like... Taylor were, Swifty. It, it, that's how she described it. I would say it's very like, you know, it's like 
appealing to the younger audience with the whole let it go e super yeah, empowered it didn't thing. fit with the rest of the song yeah it like didn't fit. I feel like they... But, I mean, they only added, I mean, like, they were two. fine, but they just... I mean, they just could have done without it. They only added, like, what, two? Yeah. Beast... Beast sang one, and then Beauty sang the other one. That yeah. They were just original songs. They were kind of poorly written. Yeah, um... One thing I will say, the dude... Again, like, I have no idea who the guy was playing Beast, but he was very handsome. Um... Dan like, Stevens... Dan Stevens, I think, was his name. Whatever his name was, he was a gorgeous human being. Like, whenever he went out of beast mode, honestly, even when he was in beast mode, he was pretty hot. So, you know, <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah. So uh, they did good with that. Like, you know, it was like, <laughs> it would have been kind of funny, though, if they, like, after, at the very climax, when he transforms back from a beast to a human, if they made him, like, just a total uggo. That would be kind of funny, but whatever. Total uggo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He has a big <sighs> boil and. <laughs> Total <ugly. Yeah. laughs> Anyways, it was a good movie. I liked it. Um, See, with reboots, remakes, whatever you want to call it, there's a fine line and there are two extremes that uh, I don't like. Um, either you can be too close to the original. There's like a shot for shot, just com almost and, exactly. And I mean, the some same. of it was from the animated cartoon, some of it was yeah. shot for shot. But, you know, you, either you can go you can go too far, shot for shot, to where it's like, why did you remake this? Yeah. There was no point. It's the same movie. Why, why pay to see the same movie again? Right. Or you can go the other extreme and change it too much. <laughs> Indiana Jones. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, technically that wasn't a race movie, but... But yeah, you can change it too much, and people are like... Yeah. What is this? This bears no resemblance yeah, to what you I need loved. To, if I doing... think it struck a pretty decent balance. No. It was mostly taken directly from the animated Disney movie, but they added their own songs. They added some character development, which I liked because in the original, the Beast was not as a as much of a sympathetic character as he was in this one. They gave him more of a reason to be a dick. Mm -hmm. where in the original it's just like he's a dick yeah and she's gonna love him even though he's a dick no in this one it's like he's a dick for a reason it's not all his fault there yeah he kind of like he got screwed up by his dad and whatever but like you know and i like that because it's like you know and they had more moments like a, Dis a disney cliche or an animated movie cliche is for the characters to fall in love right off the bat and I think they added a little more to make the relationship seem more real. It was, they had more chemistry moments. They had more uh, moments to build that relationship. Mm -hmm. Whereas in the original, it's like, here's a library. Here's a smile. We're in love now. Yeah, They think, added more realism, more... Yeah, I, I felt it was a little bit more natural the way... It, yeah, but I mean... It was less cheesy fairy tale bullcrap. To be fair, I like cheesy. Cheesy fairy tale bullcrap has its place. But yeah, but I mean, I, like the original. I love the original. Yeah, it's just you I, know, yeah. um, but like I did like a little bit more. Like it made you feel like I don't know. It, it made you more sympathetic. And there was more movies. of a motivation. Like I don't remember exactly, but I think in the original, like the uh, the butlers and stuff the you know the furniture that's alive i'm pretty sure that they uh they actually told bell hey if you fall in love with them the spells broke i can't remember if i'm they did or not. pretty sure they did but in this one they kept it from her so it would be more natural real love instead of oh I've, I've, i'm gonna have to try and fall in love with this guy to free these people there was more of a motivation that was built up, more of a solid motivation than the original. So that's where I think it improved upon the original. And it didn't match the original as far as music goes. The music in the original was far superior. They should have kept the songs the same. They should have kept all that fine. But I like the character development. I like the motivation. I like the, the, the backbone and the structure that they added to the, to the, to the characters. It was just a fun movie. Like the, I mean, it's still like it. It didn't. I don't know. Like, 
I just felt like it was still like the fu- a fun Disney movie. So I mean, that's really all I have to say about it. It's I mean, just, I, I got a little misty eyed. I did. There were a couple places. I mean, that's with any Disney movie. It's like, oh, they're dead now. Oh, they're not. And it's like, you know what's going to happen, but you... you no, know. it wasn't even that. It was more of the... I don't know. But I got a little He's bit of guy. Mm-hmm. Anyways. I thought it was great. Uh, in my opinion, I, I, I think they did enough to where they honored the original and they improved on it in some respects. And... I'm going to score it a solid 8 out of 10. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. See it with your family. Yay. This has been Late Night Reviews with White Bread and the Mole. See you later.